Jumping off the porch like mom's not home Tell me why the best things feel so wrong Summer nights, love them how they take so long All right, now let's move on to some of the more Yale-specific questions. So Jacob, what, uh, what are you planning on majoring in? Um, right now I'm thinking of majoring in environmental studies, either that or architecture. Architecture. So uh, what classes did you take this semester? Um, this semester I started out by taking Portuguese, which is just to get the language requirement out of the way. It's a fun yes. class. I'm also taking Introduction Biology as a prereq for the environmental studies major. That did not go too well. Really? <laughs> we'll see. You had your final yesterday. I had my final yesterday. It was not a good time. I'm also taking two sustainability classes. So I'm taking Field Science Sustainability, which is essentially a class where we go out to different farms and things and like record our own data, do a lot of reports on that. It's pretty fun. Cool. And then I have a sustainable development in the 21st century, which is a more lecture style class where we just learn about all the uh, environmental topics that are in the media today. Cool. So a lot of people in the comment sections have had questions about, you know, the difficulty of classes at Yale and what's the workload like. Uh, what was your experience uh, with your classes this semester and like how much time did you spend? How difficult were they? Well, I feel like at Yale, you'll get out what you put in. So if you want to have no social life at all and just stay in your room and study all day, sure, you'll get a 4.0 GPA. But for the rest of us, um, you got you put in like an average amount of work. It's not too much more than I did in high school. And you get pretty good grades, I'd say. Well, yeah, for, for environmental studies majors. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's just CS double major. I don't know. It, it's, it, it really does depend on your major. Like um, uh, Jake talked about in his interview, Jake, my roommate, not Jacob. Uh, he's in the directed studies program, and they obviously they have a ton of reading a of work. and a paper due every week. Um, I'm doing I'm doing engineering, so obviously I'm trying to knock out a lot of those engineering prereq classes right now, so that they they do pile up, especially the PSATs. I'm taking like three uh, QR quantitative reasoning classes this semester, which is a lot, which means three PSATs, and then I also had like a paper to work on for my English class. So uh, I, I, it's 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 a lot, but at least for me it was definitely manageable. Yeah, you never feel too overwhelmed. Yeah, and also college, a lot of people don't realize how much free time you have. Like the most time I spent in class in a day was like three and a half hours, which is like nothing. And considering I didn't even have classes on Friday, it, you have so much free time. It's just learning how to manage your time. Okay, obviously we are students in the beautiful Timothy Dwight College. It's amazing. We love it here, right? Yes, we do. Yes, TD we do. is objectively the best college. Objectively. Objectively. Awesome. Yeah. Um, for any of you Yale students watching... Uh... Silliman sucks. <laughs> Silliman sucks? Silliman sucks. Okay. Okay. So does Old Campus. Old Campus? Old Campus. Yeah. Garbage. Who needs Old Campus? We have, we have TD. So uh, what do you think of TD and uh, like what do you think of the Yale residential college system in general? I gotta say I'm a big fan of the residential college system. I think it gives us all a more tight-knit community rather than just the broad Yale itself. So we get to know people that we're closer with, people that we live with, become pretty good friends, I'd say. Yeah, definitely. I feel like most of my friends are in TD. I mean, obviously I have groups from my classes, like my extracurriculars, but the people that you spend the most time with, the people that you eat with at almost every single meal, and the people you live with are, are right here in TD. Yeah. And honestly, uh, I think the residential college system is one of the best parts about Yale. It's because, I mean, college is kind of a scary thing. There's a lot of people, and it really breaks you down into, like, just a small group. I know in, like, bigger state schools, you, most of your friends may be the ones on your hallway or whatever, but they're eventually going to be broken up. And, you know, it's hard to keep track of everyone, especially in a big school like this. Um, so rather than having to deal with the 6,000 people that are here on campus, you, you have 400 people in your college and 100 people in your class, and then maybe 10 or so other people that are studying something similar to you and it really it's uh you're able to break down the big population into a lot smaller groups it's like hogwarts yeah yeah we're gryffindor obviously except rather than like a sorting hat they just use a random number generator <laughs> so each college here at yale has a dean who uh, deals with like academics in the college a head which deals with more like student life and then all the freshmen are assigned in FROCO groups. Jacob was actually in my FROCO group. Good what job. do you think of the support system with the head, the dean, the FROCO, and you also have advisors and mm -hmm. uh, tutors all here in the college. What do you think of the whole support system here? I think there's definitely a lot of resources, sometimes too many resources that are just out there for you to use. You have your writing tutors as well. Yeah. And, I don't know, our, our dean and our head of college, are, they're pretty great people. Huh? They're, they're really nice. Yeah. Yeah. They like magic. They do like magic. <laughs> Everybody here likes magic.
you tell them the story about how you hypnotized Dean? Oh yeah, and if you guys haven't haven't checked it out, uh, last community night here at TD, uh, me and Jake, we actually managed to uh, hypnotize our Dean and make her uh, forget how to read. So that, that video's a couple months back. Definitely check that out if you haven't. It's a, it's a good one. Jacob was there. He saw it live in person. Oh, yeah. It was oh, insane. Yeah. It was it's insane. incredible. It's really good. I can't wait for next community tonight. Oh, yeah. You're going to teach me a macro trick? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> you know, magician never reveals his secrets. Sure. We'll see. Sure you don't. We'll see. So Yale obviously has a lot of extracurriculars and a lot of activities to offer all around campus. Um, what extracurriculars are you involved in? Um, one of the biggest things I'm involved in is the Yale Precision Marching Band. Uh, so it's our, it's our school's, our, our pep band, our football band, our everything band. I don't know how precision or marching they are. You know, we, do our, we, do, we do our best. We do our best. It's funny. Yeah. The shows are really funny. They're really yeah. good quality jokes. Good, good jokes, yeah. So, uh, Jacob, along with your extracurriculars, do you have a student job here at Yale? Um, I kind of do. I volunteer in a TD's Buttery. So that's essentially our late-night stack shop, so we make a lot of fried food, a lot of unhealthy food. It's a great time. So you guys may have seen in the, uh, what video was it? The, uh, the Day in the Life video I posted. Towards the beginning, I gave you guys a little tour of the basement of our college. But down there, there's like a game room, like a little area to hang out, and then there's also the buttery. And the buttery is open from what, 10 to 1 a.m.? 10 to 1, yeah. Uh, on weeknights. And uh, so if you're up late studying, you just head right down to the buttery. And uh, super cheap snacks. Well, yeah. it's like a dollar for like chicken tenders or fries or nachos. quesadillas, nachos, drinks, everything down Nutella there. Nutella quesadillas, good oh, stuff. Yeah. Nutella dillas, good stuff. And uh, every college actually has a buttery. So I haven't tried any of the other colleges. Neither have I. But uh, I hear that makes pretty good stuff. We like we like the TD buttery. And uh, Jacob works there on Wednesday nights, so we like to go down there and see him. Oh yeah. A lot of people think that us Yale students are just cooped up in our room all the time studying. Some of us are. Some of us are. Roger. 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 You'll meet Roger in a future <laughs> video. He's a he's an interesting guy. But uh, we there is a lot of social opportunities here at Yale. Um, you want to talk about social life here at Yale? Sure. Um, I spend a lot of my time with the guys on our floor. We hang out a lot. Uh, there's always a free game of ping pong. Um, there's always some fun themed parties when it comes to holidays. We have Christmas parties. We have Halloween parties. Yeah. All that fun stuff. Band. Band. We throw some pretty big, pretty good parties. With the band. With all the right. band. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've also had a generally a good experience here. Um, there's a lot of great people, and I mean, some nights, some nights you might go out, but some nights you might just find yourself, you know, sitting in your room, talking to like some sweet mates or some people that are coming over, and just until 4 a.m. 4 a.m. Yeah. just talking about cool stuff. When I applied to Yale and I envisioned what like Yale would be like, it it was talking to people about quantum mechanics until like 3 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, and it's it's fun, but uh, there's there's also great social opportunities. You definitely. There's something for everyone. Yeah, you'll have an opportunity to meet a lot of cool people. All right, Jacob, what is your single favorite thing about Yale? One thing, if you had to pick. I think my favorite thing is definitely the architecture. I'm from Arizona, so we don't really have a lot of old buildings like we do here. So it's yeah. just fun always looking up, always seeing something new. Yeah, I feel like Yale has some of the most like unique architecture on a college campus in the country. Yes. You know, every single college has its own unique architectural style. There's like five or six different styles going on on an old campus in each of the different halls. And, I mean... It's sometimes when you're stressed and you're going between classes, you forget about all of it. But then sometimes you just take a deep breath, you look up, and you just see like Harkness Tower. Or those, like, those weird carvings in some of the buildings with like yeah. the people. You just look up, you always notice something new, you know, like SSS, the law school, yeah. Payne Whitney. Beinecke Library. Oh yeah, a lot of, a lot of cool architecture.